welcome back to my channel if you are new here hello my name is Erica thank you so much for clicking on the video I'm super excited for today's video because I love a good Amazon dupe I love high quality items and sometimes I just don't want to pay $80 plus shipping for a single sports bra so I decided to do an Amazon haul of some of my favorite sports bras that are higher quality higher price but more affordable from Amazon. So that is what we are bringing you guys today. I have some Croc Shop Boutique dupes, some Gymshark dupes, and some Bowen T dupes. So very excited about this one. I will list all of the links down below as well as my sizing information and all of that stuff. So if you're looking for more details, just check out the description box. And before I get into the video, if you guys are new to my channel, first of all, hello and welcome. It's so good to have you. And secondly, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss another video from me. I post a ton of health, fitness, nutrition, activewear, fashion, beauty, and more hauls, videos, try-ons, etc. Vlogs even. So if that sounds like it's up your alley, I definitely recommend subscribing. Alrighty, so I'm not going to make the intro super long. I want to hop right into the haul and the try-on. So first I'm going to review Crop Shop Boutique dupes. Now, I made a video about Crop Shop Boutique probably like three or four months ago where I reviewed some of their more famous sports bras and I loved them, you guys. I wear one of them every single week, at least once a week, if not twice. I'm just obsessed with it. It's my favorite sports bra that I own. Yes, it was expensive and I love it. So I was like, mm, I'm going to try and see if Amazon has anything that looks similar. And lo and behold, I found pretty much an exact dupe for like $20. So you know I had to get my hands on it and review it for you guys. And it is actually the one that I'm wearing as I cut my boobs. It's actually the one that I'm wearing right now. I have this bra in the real crop shop version. I paid about 60 Canadian dollars for it plus shipping and duties, so I would guesstimate that it probably cost me over $80 Canadian and this bra from Amazon was around $20. And it was prime, so I got it within like three days. So I will show you guys in the try on what this bra looks like on. It's a beautiful v-neck bra that has a twist in the front and then the back is very open and strappy, which is one of my favorite designs for sports bras. It just shows off the back gains and I love to wear it on back day. So, Fabric wise, this bra is definitely different than the crop shop version that I have. I have the gray marl one that is way more of like a cotton feel. And this bra is cottony, but it has more of a performance undertone to it. So while it's very soft, it still has a little bit more of a sweat wicking feel than just the pure cotton one that I have from crop shop. It does have removable cup pads. And I will say for anyone that feels like they have small boobs and they want to kind of accentuate them, this is going to be the bra for you. I have a 34A bra size, so I don't really have much going on up here. And this bra makes it look like I actually do. So that's a fun fact about this bra is that it's definitely small boob friendly. I have worn it to the gym and it has held up really well for me. I would definitely rate it as good for resistance training. It's not as supportive as like, you know, a super high impact sports bra could be for things like running and obviously it does show quite a bit of cleavage so personally I probably would not wear this if I were going to be jogging or doing anything super high impact but for like low intensity or just resistance training it works really well for me. So this bra comes in many many colors I would definitely recommend checking out the link that is down below if you want just like a simple white or black obviously you can grab those but they do have fun colors and I believe a few designs as well. So that is the first crop shop boutique dupe and I'm going to hop into the second and I'll put the names and photos of the crop shop version and the, the Amazon version as well so you guys can see what one they are dupes for. So the second bra is this one right here. It just looks very simple from the front, but similar to the last one, it has a very strappy and open back, which like I mentioned, I'm a very big fan of. You guys will see it in the trial portion here. But I did want to show you guys what the fabric was because I love the fabric. It's very, it's pretty much the same as this one. It is 75% nylon and 25% spandex. So really, really soft, very stretchy. So I'm just looking at the Crop Shop website and it looks like their bras are a polyester spandex blend versus these are a nylon spandex blend. So slightly different, but overall I really do love the fabric on these. I wouldn't say they're like, I wouldn't say they're 100%, you know, sweat proof by any means or sweat wicking. But for those of us who are just going to the gym, like I said, to resistance train or to do something that's a little bit more low impact, I personally think that this fabric will do you just fine. So in case I did not mention this already, I ordered a size small in every bra that I'm going to show you today. And like I mentioned, I'm a 34A, so I have a very small chest 
and I'm usually a size small in all sports bras. I got a size small from Crop Shop and it fits me perfectly and I got a size small and they fit exactly the same. So this one again is double lined. It has cup pads that are removable, I believe. Yes, they are removable. So if you don't want that extra little padding, you can take them out. You'll see in the try on portion, this one doesn't go super low, um, but it does kind of cut up just a little underneath the boob. So it's a very short sports bra, which I personally, if you've watched any of my videos before, I've said this time and time again, I like sports bras that are just right underneath my boobs because my torso isn't super long. So I like to actually like accentuate my torso as opposed to wearing a long line sports bra. Again, the back on this is just very strappy and beautiful. Love it for back day, but you can obviously wear it any day of the week you want to. And these elastics in the back or the fabric in the back is very, very stretchy too. So even if you are worried about the band size, I wouldn't be too concerned because it has a lot of give. So even if you're a medium, I feel like you could probably size down to a small and be just fine with this bra. Okay, next up we have the famous Gymshark Bandeau bra, and I got this dupe from Amazon. I have actually ordered this bra before, the dupe version from Amazon as well. I have it in white, and I just wanted to pick it up in another color because I genuinely wear it that much. I just find this fit and this style so flattering on all body types, just like the straight across band and the straight back straps. I feel like look good on, on every single body type. So I'm a big fan of this one. Okay, so I'm just looking at the Gymshark website and it says that their bandeau bra is 78% polyester and 22% elastane. The one from Amazon is 75% nylon, 25% spandex. So again, very similar. I will say I don't have the actual Gymshark version. I have felt it, my friends have it, but I don't own it. So I've only felt it like once or twice. So I can't confirm that it is exactly the same. But looks wise, it is identical guys, except for the, the logo obviously. A few things that I love about this bra specifically is that, I don't know if you can see right here, but on the inside it actually has stitching that prevents the cups from moving. One of my pet peeves is when you're wearing like a sports bra that just goes straight across and it gives you a you move. This prevents that from happening, so I really appreciate that. The band underneath the boobs is fairly thick, it's like a full elastic. And then again, the straps are adjustable, which I personally really appreciate. It's just obviously going to be able to be tailored to more body types and people in general, so I love that. Um, there is just like a little bit of stitching detailing on the back, down there, on the sides, but overall it's pretty seamless. Not too many, you know, seams or any logos in general that are going to like take away from the look of the bra. Um, Color-wise, this comes in a ton of colors. Again, I believe this was under $25. I do believe this one was prime as well, but again, I'll link everything down below. This is a size small. I would highly, highly recommend this one. I have friends that have ordered this from Amazon as well, and everyone that I've suggested ordering it has loved it. So if you don't want to spend the $40 plus shipping and duties potentially from Gymshark, I would highly recommend picking up this one. All right, and lastly, I picked up a three pack from Amazon as well. So this is a dupe of the one shoulder ribbed Bowen T sports rod and the normal one has the Bowen T logo like right underneath here. This one obviously doesn't, but it came in a three pack. It came with this nude color, black, and then a gray, which I'm not sure where I put it, so I don't have it, but I will show you guys what these look like on in the try-on. In terms of the fabric, I was very pleasantly surprised. They're very thick, you guys. Like these are very sturdy bras. They're 90% nylon, 10% spandex and I will check on the Bowen Tee website and see what these ones are. Okay, so the Bowen Tee website does not give you details on what their fabric is, but I have tried Bowen Tee before and I would say that this does feel very similar to a fabric that I felt from them. So in terms of stretch, this is quite stretchy. The one downfall to this sports bra is that it does give you that uniboob and the, the cup pads do move around. So because the material itself is so thick, I actually feel like you can get away with just taking the cup pads out. You don't really have to worry about like showing too much nipple because the fabric itself is very thick. So I would keep that in mind just if you're wondering, but I believe the bone ones are the same. I don't, as far as I'm aware, they don't have that stitch down the middle to prevent the uniboob pad situation. But overall, I find these to be very, very flattering on. I am very picky about like one shoulder bras for me just because I have a wider like shoulders in general and I find sometimes the one shoulder can exaggerate that 
but I personally really enjoy how these look on my body. Another thing I will say about these bras is that they are a longer line, so like I said, I personally at the gym at least prefer a shorter sports bra, but I actually picked these up to wear more as like a top and an athleisure accessory to an outfit, so that is what I would be wearing them as. I probably won't wear these to the gym, but I do feel like you could if you wanted to. Again, I got a three pack on Amazon, and I will put a link to the three pack down below. They do offer different colorways, so you have different options. Like I said, I got nude, black, and gray, but I do believe they have white and a few other colors. So overall, you guys, that is my Amazon dupes haul. It was really fun to do this haul and just try out some pieces and see how similar they are to the actual thing. So if you're someone that is, you know, balling on a budget, you're a student, and you can't afford the $80 fee for a crop shop boutique bra, which I will say their quality is amazing, and if you have the funds and you want to invest, I would definitely recommend. But for those of you who can't afford it right now, I would highly recommend shopping these dupes on Amazon. The quality is definitely there, and I do feel like they will last you, and they're worth the $25 that you're paying for them. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and also comment down below if you want to see other dupe videos or any other Amazon or just activewear try-on hauls in general. I would love to create that content for you guys. Again, stick around. Next Monday, I will post another video. I post every Monday at 9 a.m. PST. I have some vlogs coming, some cool days of eating, so get excited for those. And any other video content that you guys want to see, just comment down below and I will get to those videos as soon as I can. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.